Hey guys, today I thought we'd paint a 2.5 square bill and we're going to paint it in a blue and chartreuse pattern. Now, I'm as guilty as anybody and if I look through the fishing catalogs and all the different lures, about everybody that paints a black and chartreuse or a blue and chartreuse ends up just using yellow for the chartreuse. Well, today we're going to change that just a little. We're going to take some Createx transparent yellow and we're going to mix in a little bit of Createx pearlized lime. We'll mix a little of this together, try to get a little more of a true chartreuse color. And then for the blue, we're going to use a Createx pearlized blue. So stick with me. All right, we're going to start out. I got the base coat, the base white in place. As I've said in the past, I use Createx opaque white for the base. I've also mentioned when using transparent colors, it's nice to use a Createx pearlized white underneath because that shows through. But in our case today, we're going to be putting some pearlized lime in with the transparent, so we're going to bypass that step, putting the pearlized white. So let's mix some paints. Now, if I was making these to sell and I needed to make over and over and over the exact same type, now we're going to get pretty picky. We're going to start measuring. We're going to take so many drops of this and so many drops of that. We're going to keep records of it so we know exactly so we can match that paint over again. But for this situation, I'm painting for you and for me for fishing later. So I'm not going to worry about it. So put in some yellow. Let's add just a tad of the Let's add two drops. Let's stop there first. All right, now that's plenty for me right there. I'm going to go ahead, because I just mixed it, I'm going to thin this just a tad with just a little bit of water. Just to get a little bit thinner. There we go. And as you can see, there's not much in the cup, but you don't need much. We've slightly changed that pearlized, that transparent yellow. Get that last drop out. There we go. Never know. Might need that drop. All right. We're just going to come right up the belly. We'll come probably up two-thirds way up the sides. And take it from front to back. We'll just and that's all it takes. We'll have the belly done. Now we're probably wondering, did we do any good? Does that really it still looks kind of yellow? Well, let's see if we can zoom in. How well the camera will do here. There we are compared to the yellow, the bright yellow we used. As you can tell, we lightened it up. We got a little bit lighter green. But you know what? When I did this one, I painted two at the same time. So let's go back, and I'm going to darken this up just a little for the next one. And we'll have two of them to take a look at. All right. Now I've taken the yellow. I've added a... Start it over. This time I put in four drops instead of two. Let's see what we get right here. All right. So now this is one of two. I had two of my painted. to paint them exactly the same. Now let's go with this color. We doubled up the green. So let's see if it makes any noticeable difference. Let that dry. We'll compare the two. All right, let's look at the difference here. We're going to try to get in a little closer if we can, so you can see a little better. There's the two lures. The one on top, I painted with a little bit darker green. Uh, put four drops in instead of two. It's a little bit more. Might not be that noticeable to you on the cameras. I can see a little difference here, but the big difference is, look at the bottle of the bright yellow paint underneath it. Hopefully that's showing up enough. You can see it's definitely... They're not yellow anymore. They are more of a chartreuse color. All right, now it's time. Let's get some blue. All right. And as I said, we were going to go with the Createx pearlized 
blue. That's what we use. You know, in standard lures, you don't really see that pearlized color, but I've started using it. I really like the look I get. And we're just going right down from the back. Stay near the back, and it'll automatically work its way down the side, lighten itself up, make that transition down in there. You might go a little bit more, get a little around the nose and the eyes. Sometimes I like the eyes to be a little darker. That way when you put that red eye or different colored eye in, it really tends to show up better. As you can see, we've got a nice dark blue on top. We're transitioning down into that. We're going to leave that right there. And let's go ahead and get the other one quick. Get the other one done. You notice I don't really turn it on the side, go to the side, because that's going to hit it. I'm staying from the top and shooting down. And that's what will get that tapering down effect that you're looking for. You don't want to turn it on the side and shoot from the side. You always want to shoot downward, and that way you'll get the tapering effect that you're going to really like. All right, we're going to call that one good too. Let's put in some eyes. I've got my tacky glue. I like to use a little tacky glue, even though, as I've said in the past, the eyes have the sticky stuff on the back. I like to put a little tacky glue on each one. This one's kind of a red, but it's got a little bit of tinge of green in there, too. Thought it'd be a little bit different color than the normal red eye I've used in the past. All these different colors of eyes you can use depending what your preference is. I suppose some people might even get picky enough to go with the eye color that would kind of match. But I really like the looks of anything with the red eyes. I think it stands out good. So I tend to use red eyes all the time. There's one. We'll get the other one real quick. I've got a few where I've tried some yellow eye, some clear colors, but uh, I tend to tend to always go back to the reds. And to be honest with you, if I'm buying them, I'm, it's reds is what I'm buying. I've used other colors, but that's usually because the eyes are provided for me. I figured, well, I might as well use them. But if I'm buying, this is what I'm usually buying. Something with the red in it. There we go. We're going to let those eyes sit for just a little bit for that glue to take effect. And then we're going to put a top coat on. Alright, time to put a little two-part epoxy top coat. Now one thing I do a little different this time of year because it's a little colder outside. This stuff loves to work in 70 degree or better temperatures. So I like to help it out a little bit. And I put my bottles in some hot water. Let them sit in some hot water for a while. That'll thin it down. And uh, it'll make it a whole lot easier to work with when you're all said and done. Worked real well in July. Then you get to this time of year and it gets a little thicker. So uh, there we go. I like to thin her down a little. Alright. As I've said in the past with the top coat, doesn't take much. You just a here's a cheapy Walmart brush is all I'm using. Because uh, as you hang this up, everything's gonna kind of run down to the end. And any brush strokes will be gone. So you don't have to worry about fancy brushes and that type of stuff to take care of the brush strokes. All you want to do is just get a good even coating all the way around. One little spot right there by the head. There we go. And now give it that last turn. So you can look for a spot where you might have missed. And there we have it. We have our top coat on. 
It's take a while to dry. I usually put them up in the afternoon or the evening and I'll let them sit overnight before I try to work with them again. Now, as I said, that was a pretty simple lure. I like to keep it simple, especially if you're just starting out and you know, try to get into those wraps and all that kind of stuff can be a little more complicated. So, seeing as how we painted two of them, we've got our hard coat on the one. Let's see if we can take this simple pattern that we painted and make it a little something different anyway. Going to mix up here. We got the hard coat on one. Getting ready to put the hard coat on the second one. And I purchased glitter. Now I believe I got this from Dollar Tree or something like that, or Walmart, I'm not sure where, but you can get them at both places. So I got to start a mixture here. Let's put a little bit of glitter and don't get carried away. That should be enough. Just a very little bit. There we go. I'm going to mix that in there really good. All right. Let's grab our lure. And now, for lure number two, we'll put on a top coat with glitter. Oops, where did I hit that? I saw that. There we go. Well, I don't know if that'll show on the camera. We'll get some pictures, good pictures of this later, so you can really see the difference, because I'll guarantee you, I can see a difference here. So there we go. That's a silver glitter I put on it. Well, there we go, guys. The pearl blue chartreuse pattern. A nice, easy pattern to do. So even if you're just starting out and don't have a lot of experience, you can still get some good results right away. And that glitter on there really made that thing pop. And thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.